war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hey. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. I hope you're right. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. But then we're looking at a cold front coming down from Canada, making it crisp and dry for next week's Halloween. Hey, hon. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Uh, need to finish making Sean's costume. Yes. Also, here our troops stationed overseas are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold. Unseasonably Southeast Asia. But Honey? We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Possibly. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcats to drive any screaming commie beams right into the bow holes. Honey? Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Sweet. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. And referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. This afternoon, right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultans will sweep from the fences. Led by star pitcher Matt the Missile Murtaugh. I'm listening. Good morning! Voltec calling. Their first World Series victory since 1918. 
Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. No, no worries, sir. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. I'm a little busy right now. Oh, of course, of course. This won't take but a moment. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Need to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of, uh, <laughs> total atomic annihilation. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out, and it's done. Come on, it's not like anything's gonna happen. I know, but it's like insurance. Just in case. For Sean, you know? Yes, right! Just like insurance! So let's get to it. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Nate, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal Honey? affection. Honey? Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Oh, need to finish making Sean's costume. Yep. You heard Codsworth. Go on. And now our exclusive coverage of the continuing volatile situation in communist China. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves Excellent. that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Codsworth? What's wrong? Hun. What's wrong with Codsworth? I don't know. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with all hey, the stations. Uh, Listen. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, 
confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. You're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, You two, follow me. God Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Excuse me. This way! Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. Anything Step else on I should the platform, know? Platform in the center. All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god. Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Excuse me. What? what? What's going on? I don't know. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, hey please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone Pull yourself situated together. in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. Hey, fun. It's gonna be okay, right? I hope so. Email and don't get caught up. good. Step over to the table and take a suit. Welcome. Hey there. Pick up a suit right over there. It's pretty hard to believe. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Hey. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is our new This is one of our most advanced facilities. Looks like it. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Just this way. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down here. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, God, honey. Oh, what we'll be going make? over all that in orientation. Just a few it's medical good. items we have to get The vault safe is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Excuse me. Just follow your guide. He'll step you through the process. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Hey. Step into the chamber whenever you're ready. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Okay. Daddy's right here. See? Honey, could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In Nice. Manual over. 
what? I like it. has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Hey there. I'm not a doctor. Actually, I'll be back later. for a fight. Giant? Roaches? What the hell? Existences. Let's do this. Good riddance. for you. Hell yeah. Pleasure. 
asshole. Dead as can be. Are you ticked off at me? Riddance. Oh, 
as I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth? You're still here. So, other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? But you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed. Wearing strange outfits. Hmm. Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume. More than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? She's... In a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Oh, perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you...? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but... Nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this... hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! <laughs> e 
excellent. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Uh, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Hey there. There must be someone who can help you in contact. I hope you're right. Worth. Still tending the garden, sir. And as you can see, our giraffes are still the envy of Sanctuary Hills. I believe you. I guess we'll have to see. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay then, let's stick together.
Hell yeah. If it makes you feel better, I guess I have nothing better to do. I believe we are supposed to file a police report, yes? And all the things will be back in the residence. Not anymore. But just in case. Thank you. This ends now. Ah! Suits me fine. Whatever. 